Okay. Here's what we wanted to show you. If you're out in the woods and you see an old log with mushrooms growing off of it, as you can see, this one just happens to be a pecan. Actually, this was a slice off of a log that I had running the mill. And it was a big old disc, about 22 inches or so. And I cut it in half so I could pick it up. But the treasure of this is the spalting that you can run into with it. You can see the, the mushrooms. But we're going to cut this up on this uh, 20 inch band saw in the shop, cut it into submission. But the first thing we've got to do is we've got to get a straight line on this. And I'm going to use tape to generate a straight line. Stretch it right around underneath. tight like so. And that's a straight line for me to follow. That said, I'm going to carry it right over here to the saw and see what we can do with it. Oh, before we do that, notice the blade size. I could put in a more aggressive blade but this one doesn't take as much power and it's hand-eye coordination anyway. This saw cut about 14 inches in height from here on up to here. So, that said, get the camera set. Let's see what happens. Looks okay. You can see all the nice black pencil lines from the spalting. Make a nice turning blocks. Pins, although I don't do pins, but uh, and or lumber. The eight foot log that's on the sawmill is going to have some nice spalting in it. There you go. Okay, now what we want to do, we make it the same on both sides. We'll measure about nine and three eighths there, <clears throat> and about ten and three quarters there. So nine and three eighths is going to be the, the call sign for it. So let's see here. I'll put a reference piece of tape in here at about nine inches. They're about good enough. Put another one up here at the top to shoot for. There's nine inches right there. 
and then we went back here. Now, I'll just take this piece. Get over here. Just like that. No rocket science or nothing like that. That said, let's cut this one into submission. Turn it around. You can see, I'll be pulling an inch and a half off here and about a half inch. Number two. All right. <clears throat> Once again, <clears throat> this side's fairly parallel to this side right here. Now, this side was sliced with the chainsaw just to make the thing so I can pick it up and move it. Not bad. <clears throat> this is a straight line I pulled with the tape. Like I said, you can find an old log out in the woods that's got the mushrooms growing out of it, that sort of thing. That's early stages of decomposition. And uh, that's where you get your spalting for your pretty stuff. Look at that. That's pretty. Look at that characteristic right in there. Okay. Now let's see. I think we'll make a uh, three blocks out of this. What I'm going to do blocks to be turning blanks or what have you. The square up on there. Okay. get all the character out of that, so we're going to, not like that. Okay. 
Now we've got two pencil lines. We'll chase those. Bark's okay. And we'll chase this one. Seen that? That's what I'm talking about right there. Turn and blank. Just think of the pins, what the pins would look like. With those streaks running through it. Locks, blanks. Like I say, that old ratty log you might happen to see out in the woods with mushrooms growing out of it. Treasures. Gold. And then there are logs. Alright, I hope you got something out of that.